Hey guys, welcome back to this place. And if you are new, then welcome here for the very first time. I'm Carmen, and today we are going to get back into The Dragon Prince with season two, episode four. Um, after the last episode, I was super, super excited to see where this one's gonna go. So let's just get into it. No, she said you had to connect to the primal and that magical creatures are born with a connection. But I don't see why I can't make my own connection. By sitting weird and humming. Right. Seems reasonable. <sighs> We've searched everywhere and there's been no sign like of the cartoon elves. I think it's safe to conclude that the outpost on the Zadian side remains secret. There, look. The signal. The outpost is secure. Is it though? I feel like they could use their magic. To trick party. Y'all. Yay, Anamaya! I'm so excited that she's back. Ooh, we're back to the mirror. Who are you? Yeah, who are you? She gets her power from the moon nexus. The further away we go, the harder it is to carry everyone. Yeah, that wow, makes sense Wiz. to me. I can't believe you could understand all that. You did such a good job getting us so far. Thank you. Aww, that's cute. We need to get that former egg now adorable baby dragon yeah. home to Zadia as fast as we can. Mm -hmm. We've got to go straight across. Mm -hmm. Yeah, y'all don't have time to waste with all these people after y'all and shit. I can disguise myself as a human again! Oh no. <laughs> Hello again, fella humans, human fellas. Oh, oh, you're gonna love this, and I'm a huge fan of human Rayla. Let's go judge and criticize things other humans do, and then do the exact same thing ourselves. <laughs> I'm really interested in this exchange and, like, what's going on with them. And if that is that freaking elf skin, like, it's so gorgeous. It's, like, the best tattoo, but it actually is, like, freaking glowing and shit. Sorry. <laughs> I just like the design of this. Uh, don't worry. That's not gonna be a problem with this guy. What, is he some kind of enlightened human who can really see the good in Maybe it's an elf? Hmm. I'm not sure he can see the good in anyone, really. But that's Blind? part of what makes him uniquely qualified. We're back! Oh, he's like a stereotypical pirate. Oh, God. <laughs> Greetings! What? <laughs> the name's Captain Venus. What? The deep so you what is the point of this? Welcome to me water home. How did Ruthless. The Ruth? Named after me dear wife, Ruth. Who sadly don't enjoy sailing. Oh. <laughs> so you said if the wind's on our side. No, uh oh, the storm. Oh, Sam! He said storms in heaven. Seems as if we won't. Is that bird shit on his <laughs> his uh Maybe it's my or was that always there and I just noticed it? I was gonna say my chance to learn. To learn how to drown! <laughs> Damn, that bird is savage. I've never seen this room before. I wonder what that is. I wonder if they can like travel through the mirror with this. Why is Viren, who hates all things magic, just doing what- You expect me to drink this? This elf says. Okay, so now he's questioning it. Okay, he just did it though. Surprisingly not terrible. Like, that could have been anything. Why should I trust you? I don't even know who- I don't even know what you are. After all this, now you question it? Like, don't you think you should have questioned it in the beginning? I need time to think. It worked for feel it too. Barry Allen to get struck by lightning, but you I, really I don't know. You really want to go out there, don't you? He is a storm dragon. He'll be safe. Okay. Okay. Okay, cool. We're just- If you die out there, I swear I'll kill you. We're just- we're just gonna do this. This is- this is just the thing we're doing. Okay. Oh lord. Four 
messages came for me and I was not informed? Actually, we searched the entire castle. We couldn't find you anywhere. <laughs> what are you, hiding in some secret chamber somewhere? <laughs> I dungeon. was in the bathroom. Oh, right. <laughs> Other four kingdoms have agreed to a summit of the Pentarchy. Wow, that sounds important. I will rally the kings and queens behind Catullus and finally destroy the Zadian threat. Except. Are witnessing history. Okay, except. He's not a king, and they're gonna know it's not King Harrow or Ezrin. Is he gonna make himself get struck by lightning? Uh, Callum. Callum, what you doing? Maybe if I... <gasps> oh, thank no, God. I can't. I have to understand the Sky Primal. Callum! You're stressing me out! Oh, you're... Come on! Come on! <laughs> Why would you do that? You can't risk your life to learn magic. This is crazy. Okay. Okay. He understands. Okay. Oh. Oh. Is Zim okay? Oh, be badass besties. Come on. Standing at this mirror this whole time. Is he gonna do it? I thought that was a really good episode that furthered the story in a lot of ways. It was definitely not filler, I don't think. And I'm just with every episode of this show, I get more and more excited to just keep watching this show and learn more about these characters and where this is going and just everything. So that excitement just keeps mounting, right? The first thing I want to talk about is Viren and the mirror and the elf on the other side. Uh, I'm really intrigued by that whole storyline. Like what is this elf's end game and what is Viren hoping to get out of it or what was Viren hoping to get out of it? Because at the end we saw that he decided to cover up the mirror because he got word that the other four kingdoms had agreed to the to the summit, right? And they're gonna come and they're gonna talk about possibly waging war on Zadia. And for him, I guess that means he doesn't need this mirror and he doesn't need this inside look into to Zadia. What is the motivation of this elf? We don't really know like why this elf is doing what they're doing and what this spell would have accomplished, you know. I'm really intrigued and I definitely want to know, but yeah, we just don't know right now what that is. So I understand Viren's point of view there, but at the same time, why go as far as he went <laughs> with it if he was just going to be like, fuck it at the end, you know, and not go through with it? I don't know. I, I definitely want to learn more about this elf. And also, how is the summit going to work when they the other kingdoms get here and realize that it's not the fucking king that's asking them here. It's just this random, like, hand of the king person. You know what I mean? It's 
there's no Ezran, there's no King Harrow, there's no Callum, there's no royalty in place. So I just, I'm very curious as to how the summit is going to go with none of that and if it's going to work without all these key players that the other kingdoms were led to believe were going to be there. I really like that Callum wants to have magic and I really hope that he can find a way to have magic without it being dark magic. I don't think that I don't think that he would use dark magic at this point because I think he's realized that it's just not a thing that he wants. You know, he either wants magic or or not. And I don't think dark magic is an option for him. I could be wrong, but that's the way that I'm reading it. And I don't know. I'm really glad that he did not try to get struck by lightning. Uh, they fucking they fucking tricked me with the whole Zem thing. I was so worried. <sighs> but he was fine. They they just wanted to like make us die for like a small second. Um, it's fine, you know. Good on them, I guess. But <laughs> yeah, no, it's. I really love the Callum and Magic storyline, and so I really hope that he can find a way to harness the magic without having to go dark. I love, love, love that Aunt Amaya is back and she's fighting the same elf that she let go the first time she went to that volcano place. Um, that elf can turn like molten. That elf is molten. It has volcano in it. I don't understand it, but it's really cool. And I kind of want <laughs> Aunt Amaya and this elf to become like badass besties or like date or something because I just think they're really fucking cool and together they would be totally awesome. And I just want to see more of Aunt Amaya and more of this new elf because I'm very intrigued by by her. I'm pretty sure that's all that really happened in the episode. We met a pirate with <laughs> two eye patches which seems very impractical and illogical and <laughs> all of those things, but it's a cartoon, so I will let it go. But he was interesting. Honestly, all the pirate stuff just kind of makes me want to watch Black Sails again. Um, if you haven't seen Black Sails, you should definitely watch it as well. It's one of my favorite shows of all time. It's amazing. I wish I had reacted to it because it, it would have been great. But yeah, as for this episode, I think that that is all that I have to say. Uh, I'm really excited. There was a small spoiler in the comments for last episode, so if you're actually watching this far and you are leaving a comment, please don't don't leave any spoilers. I'm the only one who reads these comments, right? So if it's a spoiler, I will see it and I will get spoiled. And that will kind of... it just won't produce as good of a reaction. Please though, let me know what you thought about this episode with no spoilers and what you're thinking about these characters and Anamaya and this cool molten elf and Viren and this elf and the summit and Callum and magic and just all the crazy stuff that's going on in this episode and this season so far. Uh, I can't wait to watch the next episode. I might watch it right now. We'll see. Uh, but until next time. Bye guys.